All right, y'all. It's time for us to talk Superman. Hi y'all, Snarky J Cosplay here. In the past couple of weeks, we've gotten a lot of new information about James Gunn's upcoming Superman movie, so I decided to dig through, find all the information that I could, and put together everything we know about James Gunn's upcoming Superman film. First and foremost, we do already have an official cover and release date for this one. James Gunn posted this on his Instagram, showing us that the movie is set to drop July 11th, 2025, a week before my birthday, so I'm gonna consider it a birthday gift if it's good. If not, James Gunn is definitely just with me. One of my main concerns is how absolutely packed, full of different characters this movie seems to be, and that is super evident in the cast so far. We do have a lot of talented names attached to this project. David Corinsweat, better known as Baby Henry Cavill, is of course our Clark Kent slash Superman. We also have the marvelous Rachel Brosnahan playing Lois Lane, and I'm also really stoked that we're gonna get to see Jimmy Olsen on the big screen he is being played by Skylar Gizondo. Personally, I'm really excited to see former X-Man Nicholas Holt take on the role of Lex Luthor. We've also got Sarah Sampaio playing the role of Eve, who is usually his assistant, but also sometimes his girlfriend. Interestingly enough, we can also assume that we're going to be getting a spin-off of The Authority because we have a character by the name of The Engineer who is going to be played by Maria Gabriela de Faria. We're also getting an appearance by Guy Gardner aka the Green Lantern being played by none other than Nathan Fillion. We've got Isabella Merced as Hot Girl. We've got Eddie Gathegi as Mr. Terrific. Anthony Carrigan as Metamorpho. Terrence Rosemore as Otis, one of Lex Luthor's henchmen. And the latest to join the cast is Wendell Pierce, who's taking on the role of Perry White, better known as Clark Kent's boss. It almost sounds crowded when you think about that title of Superman Legacy. However, James Gunn announced that the new title for the movie is just Superman. When asked why, James Gunn explained that it just felt right. There actually hasn't been a movie ever just called Superman since the 1979 film was actually called Superman the Movie. I actually like the title change and I'm starting to feel a little cautiously optimistic about this one. They actually started filming in Norway. A Norwegian newspaper actually got an interview with James Gunn and when translated back into English, James Gunn reportedly told them that they were using a very specific valley as the location of the Fortress of Solitude, and that they'd already filmed the first scenes which would show Superman fleeing to said fortress. I, for one, am super stoked to see the Fortress of Solitude back on the big screen. For as cheesy and retro as it looks now, I actually really liked that original live-action version of the Fortress of Solitude, so I'm really interested to see what they do with it in this movie. Now, the fact that we know they're opening with some stuff in the Fortress of Solitude, which is essentially an ice fortress, makes this picture make even more sense. James Gunn posted this to basically tease the new logo on the Superman suit. Being that the suit in this picture is covered in snow and ice, I can assume that this is from that shoot day. And I have to say I really like the bright colors. I don't need Superman to be navy blue, burgundy, and beige. I also do feel compelled to say in this video that James Gunn recently debunked this image. It was going around as some sort of behind the scenes thing and James Gunn basically mocked how absolutely trashed this edit was and essentially let us all rest and know that this was not a real photo from the set. So we still don't know what that complete Superman uniform looks like. Anyways, we also do have a synopsis for this movie and it makes me really glad that it doesn't seem like it's going to be yet another origin story. The official synopsis for this movie tells the story of Superman's journey to reconcile his Kryptonian heritage with his human upbringing as Clark Kent of Smallville, Kansas. As much as I love a good origin story, I think everybody pretty much knows the origin story of Superman, so I'm glad that this one is already catching him and Lois working at the planet. He's already well versed in being Clark Kent and Superman. I don't need to see the whole farm boy act at the beginning. Now besides all of that, we don't really have a lot of specifics as to the story or the roles that a lot of these characters are going to play in this movie. James Gunn recently shared some of his other inspirations for the Superman film on his Instagram, showing snippets from All-Star Superman, Whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow, and even a shot 
lot from that well-loved 1990s animated series. A few months ago, I put out a video about some of Rachel Brosnahan's comments when she mentioned that this Superman would have a sense of humor. And I don't want to say that I was all doom and gloom, but I really didn't have high hopes because I know James Gunn's sense of humor from a lot of his other projects, and to say that it's juvenile and borderline perverse is an understatement. Nor do I think he's the right guy for the job, I've been very open about that, but the more I see about this movie, the more cautiously optimistic I become. A lot of the stuff that's being used as inspiration for this movie does sound like it's gonna be good. I really like what we've seen of the suit so far. Some of the characters I think are gonna have a really interesting twist on this. Like I said, I love that it's not an origin story. And of course, while I do still hold my reservations about it, I am more and more interested in seeing what exactly Superman has in store for us come July of 2025. And that's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. For more Snarky J, be sure to check me out on Instagram. And if you'd like to support me, this channel, and my content creation, do consider subscribing to my Patreon. It would really help me out. And let me know your thoughts about all this Superman news in the comments below.